All right, again, good afternoon. Um, I'll be talking about um, specifically on uh, web development. So my, my title is Guide into Web Development. So as you know, in IT, there's a lot of paths, a lot of technology uh, that you can do or take. And uh, most people, especially uh, without proper like education in the field, it m most of the time it ended up or in a, what we call like tutorial hell, right? So uh, my goal for today is to at least give you some insights on how you um, can start your career in web development, what, what are the things that you need to study uh, to be able to at least uh, know some of the basics and don't um, uh, prevent you from studying all of the technologies that are not really necessary. So, um, quick introduction about myself. My name is Jezreel Maghuyok. I've um, been working here in Norway for more than a year now. I've been working for Consberg Digital as a technical advisor slash full stack developer. I'm also a Microsoft Azure MVP, which I was awarded earlier this year. And I'm, I'm still one of the community lead for Angular Philippines, where we do online events, seminars, uh, boot camps in the Philippines. Um, we actually have one event today uh, in partnership with Angular Cebu and tomorrow as well. So if you're interested um, to know more about that, just go to Angular Philippines. You can watch all our um, events, pre or past events, and then events for tomorrow as well. So, uh, moving on. What happened to the slide? <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, as, like, uh, as I said, uh, this is uh, just more of a guide on how you can start your career in um, web development. So, um, there's a lot of like what we call fields or specialties in web development, but uh, for this specific topic, I wanted to focus on the, I guess, higher level, which is um, the front end and back end only. And then, if you know both, um, if you both, if you know both of them, then you can at least what we call or considered um, full stack, uh, full stack developer. Um, this is just an example of uh, application structure. As you can see, there's a lot of technologies that's being used by Netflix, and for different systems, different applications, there's different technologies that being used depends on their use cases. It's just so happened for Netflix, this is what they're using for different use cases that they have. Um, but we're not gonna um, talk all of those technologies because those are LRL, but I'm gonna focus more on the front end side and the back end side of things. And even with the front end and back end, you can see right now that there's still a lot of images or technologies involved into in working with them or in building a uh, web application, just only focusing on two of them. And I can assure you there's a lot more than that. But um, in this next slide, um, I'm just gonna share, uh, I guess, the, what I consider um, the fundamentals uh, for web development. One is the HTML, which acts like a structure of the application. So as uh, representation, it's the bones or skeleton in your body. That's, that's the structure. Next is the CSS. It makes your web application beautiful, or what I call the presentation layer. Then next one is the JavaScript. So um, yeah, I called it functional layer, but um, in simple terms, I say it's more of, if, if I relate it to the image, I'd say it's more of like the behavior part so the HTML is the structure, the CSS is making things look pretty. JavaScript makes um, adds ability or behavior to your web application. In context to this, for example, you're a normal human, you add JavaScript to yourself, then you can jump higher, you can run faster. <laughs> then you the, get the concept. But in web application, uh, it basically just means it does a lot of fancy stuff as well. So that's the... I guess the higher level on uh, uh, basic concept of web development and also um, the basic technology that you need to be knowledgeable about. 
Um, like I said, in front end, there's uh, a lot of things that you need to learn. But the stuff that I've um, listed here are the things that I feel and I think that is much more valuable and much more important. And again, I considered uh, the uh, building blocks or the fundamentals into web development. So for front end, um, of course, you definitely need to know um, about HTML because it's your, um, it's your web application structure. And then, of course, the CSS and the CSS uh, preprocessor. Of course, after you learn CSS, you need to learn free CSS preprocessor. But that's, again, an, if that, even that, it's an uh, optional part. I guess it's, I consider that a little bit like advanced. Um, and then JavaScript, and then JavaScript framework. So I listed out the top three right now. They've been top three for uh, more than five years, I guess. And React is the technology being used by uh, Facebook. They built the framework itself. Angular is the technology built and used by uh, Google. And Vue was the framework built by Avenue. Avenue was previous Angular, right? Yeah. <laughs> so come here, we <laughs> So yeah, there uh, I consider them the top three right now. Even in the job market here in Norway, um, Angular takes. Uh, no, no, no. React takes the the rank one, I guess, and then Angular take rank two. Uh, based from uh, at least if I look at uh, LinkedIn or when in my experience when I uh, was job hunting in uh, LinkedIn but uh, There's also a lot of other JavaScript frameworks are, that are being used also in, in Norway and, and then outside of Norway as well, but again uh, right now I just considered them the top three and then they, they just take the job market right now uh, I also included web design as part of or like a sub-module of um, front-end because in web development, most people are not really like into programming, which is front-end is more on heavy on programming. But if you are more on the artistic side on the, what do you call this? Um, yeah, cosmetic sides of stuff, then you can branch out into web design and I guess at least you should know, I believe at least one of the three because basically right now they do exactly the same thing, the, the same stuff. They do, you can build wireframes, you can build um, high fidelity, low fidelity, which is basically just some square boxes on what the web application will look like. And then of course um, you can apply some colors on them. So think of it as like your PowerPoint for web development. Like just, yeah, you're building them some boxes there. Um, next is the JavaScript. Oh no, the the backend. So server side languages. Again, I only listed uh, some of the languages that I know are being currently being used in Norway, but that doesn't mean uh, other technologies are not being used. Um, Python, Java, PHP, Node.js, and .NET. So I believe I could be wrong, but I believe all of them can be used in web development. Uh, especially on the backend side. And then da database, um, of course, again, there's a lot of um, database out there. Um, just listed out the ones that are being used here in Norway, or at least the most commonly used yes. in the industry. Yeah. And then server side or server technologies like uh, IIS, Apache, and Nix for your um, deployments. And then um, for common, both for front-end and back-end, um, you can study JavaScript, um, Git for your version control, which basically just, if you're familiar about the meme of uh, revisioning files, like this is my final file, this is my, you need to revise it, final version one, okay, you need to change this, final version 1.1, <laughs> so, in order for you to prevent doing that, you can use Git on your um, development. So whenever you do changes, um, it's easy for you to um, revert everything or apply new changes without um, destroying your previous version. And also you don't have to worry about your naming of version version one. 
Uh, next is uh, API REST or Graphic um, QL. You can choose one um, basically mainly on the backend side, but of course, if you are on the front end side, you also need to learn how it works at least, uh, just a at least the concept. Uh, and then unit, test unit testing is both can be applied for front end and back end. Basically, you can uh, apply um, automation testing to your web application so you don't have to manually test your application on the production side. Like if I click this, this should do, this should show up something. If it doesn't, then there's an error, right? So you can do that, um, you can catch that behavior in unit testing. And a lot of us not doesn't do that. So, alam yan ng mga web developers. Um, I think I'm on to my uh, last slide. Um, there, there's a website called roadmap.sh. There's a lot of uh, technologies, a lot of um, roadmaps that you can explore there. They have full stack, they have front end, they have back end. Um, yeah, if you're interested, just go to the website. And then you can also have a skill-based specific roadmap. Like if I want to learn uh, React, then it will show you what are the things you need to learn first before you you jump to React. And then just a preview of what it looks like. Uh, this is what it looks like. And then you can see that some of the things that I've mentioned are already listed here, like the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then Git, and then the CSS framework that I mentioned, which is like a, an advanced version for CSS. Um, and then the testing your apps, which is the unit test part. So this is just the simplified version. They have a complex version of this one, and I didn't include it in my slide because it won't fit. <laughs> Same with the backend. You can just go to um, roadmap.sh right now and then see the backend because backend has a lot of uh, lists down there. There's a lot of technologies, a lot of knowledge you need to know. Um, if you're interested in working with backend. Um, yeah, but there's also a guide here uh, in their website that uh, even though they listed a bunch of stuffs, it doesn't mean that you need to know all of them. They have like a legend, which is if green mark means you need to really, really learn that. Um, and then the other is I think violet check mark, then means like it's an optional, it's up to you if you want to learn it or not. So yeah, just go to the website. And then um, there's, of course, uh, we're living in the uh, internet world and we're lucky enough to have free resources. Um, just go to any of this website, you can learn uh, web development for free. Um, free code camp, W3 schools. Um, some of them have even a free course module that takes you from basic to, um, I wouldn't say advanced, but at least to some point where you can be able to build a application, right? So at least that one, um, it's progressive, right? Because if you learn this after that, you'll learn this next topic. So, but some of them are just like, think of it as like a dictionary. If I go here, what does this uh, technology or what does this stuff do? Like for example, W3 school, you can just view some of the, those stuff there and then it will show you what it does, uh, how to configure it, and play around with it. Again, um, just go to this website. And of course, I encourage you to join um, tech communities. These are the active right now tech communities in the Philippines. Um, there's a bunch of tech, tech community in the Philippines uh, that are active, um, that currently does free training, free bootcamp, free online events that share, same like this, um, we share knowledge in Facebook, or in face-to-face. -face. So, um, if you want to learn React, go to React.js. If you want to learn Angular, go to Angular Philippines. If you're into user experience, go to UXPH. And then there's also Tech Career Shifter Philippines where you can meet a lot of uh, career shifters uh, just like yourself. And then you can um, uh, share your experiences with some of the people there, share their experiences. They came from this uh, industry. Now they jump to IT. This is what they did. This is what they. Um, this is how they started. So, go there. I highly recommend it. If you're a career shifter, um, if you're into testing, go to Ministry of Testing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's all for my topic.
um, let's go to the next speaker.